How many times have you been out and about or at a restaurant of some kind or somewhere and your phone suddenly dies and you got no place to charge? Does anybody have an outlet around here that I could use to charge my phone? Anybody? Well, that's why battery packs exist. And meet the Ghost Tech NRG 5000. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, if you see a phone that is not the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, that is a phone that I use to test products like this. This is, this right here is a cool pad phone. So to test this, I decided to charge my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 when it was at 19%, and I ended up getting up to about 94%, which isn't too bad. The edges are rose gold, at least my unit is anyway. You can find more colors on their website, which I will have linked down in the description down below. You have two USB type A ports. One of them has an output of one amp and the other one has an output of 2.1 amps. It does support dual charging and it will not impact the speed of your charging on either device. Either port allows the cable to go in all the way. And when I reached out to Ghost Tech to ask about this, they said that it was because they wanted to really keep the device as slim as they possibly can. And they did a really good job of doing that. They made this battery pack nice and slim for easy handling. And my experience when it comes to handling this battery pack while charging a phone has been very, very good. It felt so nice to hold this. It does support pass-through charging, meaning that you can charge your phone also while charging your battery pack at the same time. Do me a favor, look on the back of your battery packs for watt hours and capacity. Now, as I said before, this battery pack did not fully charge my Galaxy Note 10, and here's why. There is a math equation to this, and it's watts equals amps times volts. Battery packs will have a 3.7 volt battery inside. USB uses 5 volts, and that's how we charge our phones, whether it be USB Type A, Micro USB, USB Type C, etc, etc. In order for a battery pack to be able to charge the phone, it's got to translate from 3.7 volts to 5 volts all the way down to 4 volts and it takes energy to do that. In order to do this, the amperage must go down. That's because the battery pack is using energy to convert the voltage from 3.7 to 5 volts. Once inside the phone, however, the voltage drops to about 4 volts. So now to explain why my Galaxy Note 10 did not charge all the way when I had it plugged in. So let's say you want to charge your phone using a battery pack from 0 to 100. You would take your device's battery capacity, in this case 3,500 milliamp hours, multiply that number by 3, then divide that answer by 2. And that's the battery pack size you generally want to buy. Now when I did that same equation, my final answer was 5,230 milliamp hours, which this is not big enough to charge my Galaxy Note 10 from 0 to 100. Now I must give credit where credit is due. All this information about the battery packs, this I got from Android Authority. I will leave a link down in the description down below. A guy by the name of Gary Sims did an excellent video explaining this. That I will leave in the link down below as well. So other than that, that's been it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave a thumbs down. If you liked it, thumbs up. Join the Discord server as well, and I will see you in the next one.